In this demonstration, we will create a project and set up maps in SourceLink. Users may request a trial SourceLink license upon launching the program by selecting Request Trial License. We'll start by opening the SourceLink application. Create a new prospect here. Next, select a template type appropriate for the prospect's operation. Templates pre-configure prospect settings before opening. Here, we will select Dynamite, then Autonomous Boombox 3 mode. Now name the prospect and optionally fill other related fields. After selecting OK, Select the tile labeled Click Here to Start to create a new production day. We'll label this one Job Setup. Navigate to the Survey tab and select Script Import Wizard. Here, users may use multiple types of survey files for loading sources and receivers. WGS84 is the default datum. However, users may use other projections. We will use an SP1 file in the NAD27 datum. Select Browse and navigate to the Survey file for sources. Next, define field columns. This may be accomplished by typing column numbers or highlight a selection in this box. Then click Get from Selection. If coordinate auto detect is unsuccessful, Users may need to define coordinate positions manually. Select Preview to verify definitions, then Import. Receiver files may be loaded on the next screen. Users may load multiple files by repeating the process. When loading additional source or receiver files after selecting Import, the user will receive a prompt to either merge with or overwrite already loaded points. To use the main project map instead of the default tracking map, go to the Map tab here. Windows can be resized by moving these bars. To resize and move the map window freely, go to Windows and select Unlock Layout. Then right-click on the map title bar and select Float. The window may now be resized, moved and if desired, docked. Users may load boundary shapes here. Before import, select the parameters for the area first. We may load shape files or KMZ, KML format. Areas designated as no drive will not allow a decoder to fire inside of these zones. Zones designated as low force buffer zone will cause vibe acquisition inside these areas to acquire in low force. After loading shapes, select Apply, then close the window. Users may adjust zoom level on the map, here. Map features may be made visible or hidden with these buttons. Download map image underlays, here. For this example, we will load a terrain map, then save it. Users may load and manage map layers under Map Underlay. Load a new layer with the Add button. Bitmap, JPEG, and PNG files with an accompanying World Buddy file are supported by default. When using other file types such as GeoTIFF, tick the Advanced Options checkbox, then select an image quality to use for the advanced file import. Users experiencing performance issues may choose a lower image quality. Next, select Import and navigate to the desired map. If the image is properly geo-referenced, the northwest and southeast corners will be defined with coordinates. Otherwise, this may be done manually. Users may load multiple layers, then organize front-to-back display order before closing. Users may create points directly on the map by right-click. 
Here we will focus on one spot to set up a test area. We will create a source line along this road. Right-click at the beginning of the line, select New Source Flag. To create just one point instead of a line, we will ensure our from and to station fields are the same. Next, create a source point at the end of the desired line segment. Now right-click on the first source point and designate by using Select as Point 1. And the second, Select as Point 2. Now we will create a line with a 30-meter point interval by selecting Create Points Between P1 and P2. To finish, we will clear our P1 and P2 markers by selecting Clear Selected Points. Users may check or delete source points from the Source Points tab here. To delete source points, highlight the desired points and select Delete and then Yes. Thank you for watching. For more information on Seismic Source products and applications, please visit the Seismic Source website.